Hey guys, Kukubase in here. I decided to do a video on why I like Gen 7 so much, like why it's my favorite generation. That's it's an uncommon opinion. Not many people really like Gen 7. Because it kind of broke the classic formula. For the same reason people don't like Journey because of something that Go does. But I'm not two things really that Go does that I'm not really gonna get into that have never actually been done. Well, I can really tell you one of them. He goes around trying to catch every Pokemon he sees. That's something that's never really been done before in the anime. Then the other one's a spoiler that's like not in the English dub yet. I'll I only really go over things when they're in the English dub, and this video's not centered around Go. He's my sixth favorite character, and he doesn't belong in Alola. <laughs> so the episode where in Journey where they went to Alola is really good. There's not more to it though. I so, don't. I like the people in the Alola region. Four out of five of my favorite Pokemon characters are from Alola. There's Lily, Gladion, Hound, Professor Kazooie. I love Burnett, who is technically from Dream Radar, which is from Gen Five, and I love most of. The, Trial Captains and Kahunas too. I like the Pokemon in the Alola region. And I really love this art. I try to stick to doing either my own fan art or official art on my channel, but I had to put this in my side. So, aside from Pikachu, my main team originated in Alola. And I love them for some reason that I is capital capitalized, but I love most of the others than seven Pokemon too. Why is this not capitalized? That's driving me crazy. And I know I post shit. I know I pressed shit. So so look, Alola is just Oh okay. weird. Alola is a beautiful region, you can't deny it. Sure, every region has a beauty. Kanto is plain and natural. Johto is basically Japan. Japan's beautiful. No one knows why, but it is. Owen's got the sparkling seas. Sinnoh's diverse. Unova is futuristic or old, depending on which version you play. They both look great anyway. Kalos is France, the country famous for its beauty. And Jowler has a beautiful wild area full of nature, mostly untouched by man. And Lola has bits of all of these. Like, it has areas that are pretty plain and natural. It's got a traditional Japanese city in Mali City. Mali City, or that's how they pronounce it in the anime for some reason. Um, it's got those seas, like Hoenn. It's pretty diverse. All the islands are different, and there's different things on the island. And then Futuristic has the Ava Foundation, and old is again Mali City. Um, it's like, it's not French. But Hawaii is also famous for its beauty, so. And then there are areas that are pretty much untouched by men. But there are places you get to go. And this is actually official art. The two rock roughs in it. How could I not put it? Two rock roughs. Three rock roughs. I didn't know this was one before. There are three rock roughs. The story. I don't know who took this picture, but I mean, it can really. It, this could possibly be anyone. Anyone could have gotten this picture. <laughs> so the story is great, whether it's like in the originals where you have to stop the Mother Beast scene, or in Ultra where you need to save the effective legendary from the first one to get a little of light back. So there's like nostalgic reasons. The first and second game I played were both Gen 7. The first one was new, the second was Ultra Moon. So that makes it obvious why I have a nostalgic attachment to it. The anime. I I like the anime version of Sun and Moon too. They tried to make it more relatable towards kids, and the only part I have a problem with is when it went to a more cool traditional style of anime to a cartoon like we would have here in America. I mean, like, this is something straight out of Looney Tunes. 
I swear to God, this would not be out of place in Looney Tunes. Except we know it's Ash, so it would be. The music. Every game had great music, but this theme was great music. Or music, I guess I can put it on. I'm not sure if that's all the microphone is on the computer, but... So this is like the Hawaii City theme. It's called Hawaii City Adventure from Pokemon Sun and Moon. It's, the one, it's done by Braxton Burke, and uh, he makes good music. I don't. I can't really find the original themes on Amazon Music, so really his work, Insane in the Rain, yeah, they're the best I can get. And Glitch X City makes some good ones, but I don't know. She doesn't have much on Amazon Music, but check out all three of them here on YouTube. So the Xenos, I love the type theme ones, like in this picture here. Again, I'm not actually sure who did this. If it's not official, it might be. But I love the Pokemon exclusive ones too. I love trying to memorize the poses. It's, it's great. I love Xenos. So the Pokedex's personality, you might not like it, viewers, but you can't deny it. Girl Tom Dex has got personality. That's basically a change of King Free Shackle quote, where he was talking about Dumbledore. If I may, but it's. You may not like it, Minister, but you can't deny it. Dumbledore's got style. <laughs> So I, I decided to change it to real object. Sorry. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm not. <laughs> so, I like how it got enhanced version, and I like playing the enhanced version. Obviously, I played both Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun. So, follow up. Do you agree with everything I said? Why or why not? So, the comment section exists. Use it and do it. Answer the questions. Do it. Do it. And there is one more slide. That's just one that I'm going to use for the um, thumbnail if it lets me. But okay, you guys can see it very well. <laughs> 